understanding what happened in Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro was the first international conference which was held on June 1992. In this conference, nearly 100 country states heads have come and they all joined to have a group action because its urgent problem is the problems of the environment protection and the socio-economic development. The main agenda of Rio de Janeiro summit which was held in June 1992 in which 100 nations countries heads have come in Brazil where their main concern was the urgent problems of the environment protection and socio-economic development. All these are the main concerns of the people all over the world. So immediately the environment protection has to be brought into action. We need to protect our environment. If not, we would face many difficult problems. So in order to avoid those problems, we need to plan sustainable development. So in order to make this one at every level, they have brought an agenda called Agenda 21. Agenda 21 states clearly that we need to plan for sustainable development. As I told you earlier, what is sustainable development? Sustainable development is a development in which the resources are used to develop, but at the same time, naturally it should develop. It should not hurt or harm any of the future benefits. We should not develop anything at the cost of the future generation's resources. We need to preserve the resources. We need to modify the resources. We need to use them cleverly as per our requirement, not in a too greedy nature. So that's how sustainable development is the main agenda of Agenda 21, which has been initiated in Rio de Janeiro summit in 1992. So it also states that every nation should have its own local agenda 21 so along with sustainable development it also clearly claims that we should have our own local agenda 21 sustainable development on a larger scale at the same sustainable development at the local levels every country should plan its own sustainable development this own sustainable development is the resource planning the planning of the resources is very very widely accepted because it is the judicious way of using the resources. The best way of using the resources is called resource planning. Without spending it in a too explicitly manner, without using it in a very less scarcity manner, plan it very properly in the medium line so that you do not feel that it is shortage. At the same time, you do not say that it is in the exhaust. So. You need to plan in a medium path where we can achieve the development. The sustainable development should be the prime focus attention whenever we plan on any resources. So resource planning has been very, very widely accepted strategy in which you judiciously plan how to use your resources. Now moving on to understand the resources. Let us take an example of India. In a country like India, where we have diverse culture, diverse nature, where you have different, different diverse people staying together, spending time, living together, where we have different language spoken people, different cultural people, different uh, uh, languages adopted, then different cultural people living there, different uh, ideologies people living together, different religious people living together, different communities people living together, different tribal people living together. All these are combined features of India. India is a land of diversity. India is having different physical features also. That's how India has got its place in the land of variety, where you have variety of minerals available, variety of resources available for the Indians. India land is a land in which the shield of resources are present. So the variety of the resources like for example, let us take the minerals. Minerals are widely available in Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh and the Chhattisgarh regions. The minerals like coal are very very widely available in the states like Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. 
when it comes to the deficit we have deficit in regards to the terms like water water is abundantly found and causing floods always in arunachal pradesh state where the flow of brahmaputra brings abundant availability of water rajasthan the state of desert where we have huge availability of solar energy where the potential of rajasthan has not been recognized so when i talk about the minerals they are not available in rajasthan when i talk about the minerals they are not available in uttar arunachal pradesh when i talk about water it is not available in rajasthan when i talk about the solar energy it's not available in jharkhand madhya pradesh or chatisgarh so there are certain minerals which are available in one region of the country well the same minerals are not available in the other region of the country so here we have the variety of the minerals other side we have the deficient of the minerals or the deficit of the minerals the availability of the minerals and the deficit of the minerals should be brought into balance that's what it is called the resource planning the resource planning has to be done and the resource planning should be done by collaborating the national interest the state interest and the local interest and also to fulfill the national needs state needs and the local needs that's how we need to plan our resources the resources have to be planned very well so that you need to fulfill the needs of nation along with that fulfilling the needs of a state along with that fulfilling the needs of the local requirements of that particular area that's what we discussed earlier also in the agenda 21 every nation should have its own agenda of agenda 21 that's what the main theme of rio de janeiro summit which held in brazil in 1992 where their main agenda was sustainable development do not harm the future resources which actually belong to the future generations where actually they have to get it the natural share so go for natural sustainable development having a development which also results by preserving of the resources for the future needs that's what when we come to talk about the resource planning also the resource planning is a widely accepted strategy of the judicious use of the resources this judicious use of the resources is variety and diversity let's take the example of india in india we have variety of resources and they are in diverse in nature for example in the states like jharkhand madhya pradesh and chatisgarh you find much abundant availability of coal where in arunachal pradesh you find abundant availability of water while in the other states like rajasthan you find abundant availability of solar energy where it comes to these three states you find different different resources available for you at different different places so when it comes to one side the other side it is deficit in the other mineral resources so we need to balance this variety and this deficit in order to get and fulfill the needs of national interest state interest and the local interest first plan for the local interest to get satisfied then you can plan for the state interest to satisfy then further resulting in the national interest to satisfy that's how we need to plan our resource planning if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus